Hey guys! You say hey? Hey. Hey, welcome to our drawing show. Thanks for joining. We are going to do a... Um... What are we doing today, Leo? A starfish. We're doing a starfish today. So, grab whatever you have. We're just using normal printer paper. I have Sharpie pens. That's just a marker and pencils. I'll post a list of materials in the video description that you guys can check out. So this is going to be pretty simple, right, Leo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to do this, we're going to start by just drawing a simple star shape. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my Sharpie over here. Okay. How many, how many points does our star need? Five. Five. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a shape like this. Can you do one like that, Leo? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right. Nice and starfishy. And then I'm going to draw another one like that. That's our second starfish arm. Yeah. And now I'm going to do another one like this, kind of to the middle. So the middle's right about here. So down and over to the middle. And then let's do another one like this. Yeah. Just like that. And then Let's finish it off by doing another one. It's okay if it's not perfect. Mine's not perfect either. We're just having fun and drawing today. Now, the next thing we want to do with our starfish is let's do a couple little lines. So can you do a line like that? Yeah. Do another one like that. Yeah, perfect. Another one, another one like that. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to put a little face on our starfish and we'll add some color. So. To you're gonna make your own face? All right, my, for my face, I'm gonna do two little C shapes like this, or upside down U, kind of like that. Nice job, Leo. Yours has like eyes and eyeballs. I like it. And then you can put a smile or mouth on. For my smile, I'm gonna draw a line across, just like that, and then down and over meeting up with the end of the line. Now on the inside, I'm just gonna draw another line like this from left to right and color in the rest of the shape with my marker. Just like that. I like yours, Leo. It's like a big grin, like, Arr! Can you smile like that on the camera? Arr! That's right. So for the rest of the starfish, how about we pick some colors? What color is your starfish gonna be? You're gonna do orange? Yeah. Okay, this color is called macaroni and cheese. That's what Leo's using. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna use brown and a little bit of orange. Yeah, there's also another thing on um, pictures that starfish that I see sometimes. Sometimes they have little dots on them. Yeah. That's true. You could add some little dots to your starfish. I'm just gonna add a couple like this. It's almost like you're sprinkling pepper on the paper with my marker. All right, if you guys don't have a Sharpie marker, that's okay. You can always use whatever you have. The most important thing with drawing is just to try and practice and do lots of it. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brown pencil. I'm using a Prismacolor Premier pencil. This is actually a French gray. I should pick a different color. So let's pick a different color here. From my batch. Oh, I gotta find a brown. Let's find a brown. Which one looks brown, Leo? Me. This one here? Let's see. Perfect! This is a, what is this? Brown light umber. Light umber. But if you have a brown, that's fine. Or whatever color you want to make your starfish, that is totally fine as well. All right. So now with my pencil, I'm just gonna shade the outside of my starfish. Just like that and kind of fill in the inside. You want to go light if you can. Have you heard this before, Leo? Light till you get it right? Yeah, no. No? What do you think that means? I don't know. You don't know? It means that when we draw or color, we want the colors to go light first. And then when you're ready, you can shade in nice and dark. All right. So there's the outside of my starfish. 
And now, on the outside, I can make it just a little bit darker on the edges of our starfish shape. Just like this. I like your orange dots, Leo. Those are pretty cool. Leo's focusing on his dots. I'm focusing on shading the inside. So make your starfish your own. My guy here is a little bit brown with his dots. But I want to add some orange in the middle. So I'm going to start by just shading in. We're going to do some color blending. Okay, that just means you kind of work your colors together. Go nice and light as we blend in here, just like this, to finish out our starfish. So it's kind of cool because mine's happy and he's got this like happy orange color. Leo's is happy too. He's got this. It's angry. Oh, it's an angry starfish? Oh, goodness. Angry starfish. So a little bit of orange in the middle, shading out to the sides. And that is our starfish. What do you think so far? Yeah, it's good. We're just having fun. All right, so a little bit of orange in there. And just like that, we have a little starfish. Mm -hmm. Let's give Leo a minute to fill in the color there while he's working. Check out your own starfishes. See how you're doing and see how you feel about it. Hopefully your parents are doing this with you. But if not, that's okay too. What's that behind your starfish, Leo? A, a rock. Oh, it's a rock? That's cool. I don't have a rock on mine. I'm gonna call it good right here. Leo's rock is gray. Very cool. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do something on the outside here. Just a couple little dots. This is Timberwolf. Timberwolf is the color? Yeah. Leo's using some Crayola crayons in case you're wondering. So on my background, I have a few little dots and a line, almost like the beach. My starfish is kind of hanging out at the beach. So I've got this little line, little Mine's starfish in is in the sea, hanging out on a rock. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Can you say thanks? Thanks. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again with another demo and we'll be doing a lot of these. So. Definitely practice and keep drawing. See you guys next time. Yeah, bye.